gentlemen are going to look towards the camera. The rest of you are going to, the rest of them are going to watch you on the screen. Okay. Nice and loud. The rest of you have to be very quiet and good listeners. How many books have you written? I'm so glad you guys asked that because I get asked that a lot and I really honestly didn't know the answer. And I thought I should count to see. So not too long ago, I counted, and I had written 62 books. Whoa! Okay. I'll try. Okay. <coughs> Switch. Quick, you gotta be fast. <laughs> They're not all Judy Moody books, though. <laughs> What's your favorite book? That I wrote or to read? To read. Uh, my favorite book that I read, well, when I was your age, maybe a little older, my favorite book from when I was a kid is called Harriet the Spy. Have you guys ever heard of that? Yeah. 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 Well, Harriet is like a reporter and she gets this little notebook and she spies on people in her neighborhood and some of her friends and she writes down stuff they do and then she gets in trouble and it's really funny <laughs> okay next question real quick <coughs> Okay, um, my characters, um, you might know, I have four big sisters. Don't you feel sorry for me? Four. <laughs> and so a lot of my characters and the funny things Judy and Sting do are based on growing up with so many sisters. And what, what the second part, was it about the funny words? Yeah. yeah. The fantastic words. She's thinking of like um, rare and things like Judy, Judy's voice. Yeah, okay, well Judy makes up a lot of her own words, you know, like rare and rare, and um, she has a lot of funny sayings. So my sisters and I, we used to make up our own words. Like when we say hi to each other, instead of just saying hi, we say hoity-boity. <laughs> and we would just make up funny words, so I had Judy make up some funny words too. Um, the other way, when Judy says rare, I got that idea because I looked up in the dictionary what were some other words for like awesome, and it said rare, and I thought, hey, she can say roar when she's in a bad mood and rare when she's in a good mood. Mm -hmm. Good idea. <laughs> okay, who's next? My audience seems to be a really good listener. What is your newest book? <gasps> My newest book is, well, you guys saw this. This one, this book this book isn't even out yet, so that's the newest one with a cover, but then I have an even newer one that doesn't even have a cover yet. And this one, let's see if you can, let's see if you can read the title. Wait. Okay, wait, I didn't hold it up yet. Okay. See if you can see this. Yes, so guess what? You guys are the first ones in the whole country to find out that my next Judy Moody book is called Judy Moody and the Bad Luck Charm. Where's Roger? <laughs> okay, Roger, we already wrote questions. We are in a hurry. 
Roger is the one I told you about yesterday, who um, is now very, very interested in zombies. Oh, good. Roger. Did, did you guys get to see the Judy Moody movie? Yeah. 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 Well, in that movie, they go to watch a scary movie and there's a lot of zombies. So a lot of people dressed up like zombies and they came to the movie set. And this one person, she was a zombie and she came up to me and she said, I love your books and I teach third grade and my kids love your books. And I said, I'm sorry, I can hardly talk to you because you're a zombie. She was. But she was really a third grade teacher. We we have considered dressing uh, like zombies oh. today, but we decided that might not be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Right now, uh, do you mean like books that I like to read just for fun myself? Yeah. Um, my favorite books to read for fun myself are mystery books. When I was a kid, I read all the Nancy Drew books. I collected them all and I read all 56 in order. But um, now I like to read mystery books. I like any kind of mysteries that are set in a different country so I learn about a new place. Very cool. Okay, what's next? You want to show her your book, Roger? Oh, oh you know what? It's something was talking about when you said you might have on the day. Oh, can I can you hold it up so I can see? Closer, closer. <gasps> Ooh, that looks scary. Yeah, that's that looks like the same one I have. Because when I um oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, spooky. When I um, wrote the book, I had to learn all about zombies and figure out how they would talk. So I read some other books about zombies. I found out they don't talk much. They kind of just grunt and moan a lot. <laughs> and they drag their feet too. So if you want to walk like a zombie, you can kind of go like this and then you drag your feet. Yeah. We liked the zombie language when they started work with me. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I made that up because I couldn't figure out how they would talk, so I thought maybe they would use Z for zombie a lot. <laughs> okay, who's next? Well, um, I wrote, so for the first movie, I was so lucky because I got to write the story that would become the movie. So it, that's called the script. And um, so I wrote another script. And of course, the next one is a mystery. It's a little bit spooky, not too scary. But in the first movie, everybody loved Bigfoot. And they love when Judy and Spink go with the flashlight and they have to hunt Bigfoot. So we decided we would make it really suspenseful. So it's kind of a mystery and there's kind of a spooky island they have to go to. But we don't know yet if it's actually going to be made into a movie yet. We have to wait and see. Okay. Awesome. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. My next book, I'm working on a stink book right now. Oh, I can test it out. Tell me if you guys like this title, okay? So um, it's called Stink and the Freaky Frog Freakout. Oh, yeah. 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 Does that sound like a book you'd want to read? Yeah. yeah. So Stink is trying to learn how to swim and he goes to the pool and when he goes in the locker room he starts to everywhere he goes like at home in the bathtub at the shower at the gym he finds frogs everywhere 
and all these frogs start popping up so he starts to get really interested in frogs and then he notices something unusual some of the frogs are kind of like mute frogs where they have an extra leg or an extra eye and he's trying to figure out what is going on with all these frogs and then before you know it stink starts to act like a frog <laughs> We like we like the part in the story where the frog was the frog under the piece of bone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was Toad. <laughs> Judy Moody's is called Judy Moody Goes to College. Are you? All right. Same, same. Um, and I love that one because I thought it was so funny that third grader got to go to college. And plus, college was like one of my favorite times in my life. So I thought it would be kind of fun to write about that. And um, I just had a lot of fun writing that one, so that's my favorite. What's your favorite? What's your favorite, Anson? Same one? Yeah, same, same. How about you? Uh, I like the one that you have the guinea pig riding the bus. Yeah, Stink and the Great Guinea Pig Rescue. That one was really fun because I had to name, I had to think there are 101 guinea pigs that he tries to save. I had to think up names for all 101 guinea pigs. That's a lot of guinea pig names. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, let's like, We started thinking about um, a zombie alphabet, like different words that would be fun to say. Oh, you guys sent that to me. If you do that, that would be so fun. Say again. <gasps> Hold on one second. Can you guys see that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I read that book. So the first book I ever wrote was called Is This a House for Hermit Crab? And if you look at all my books, you'll see a lot of hermit crabs in my books because I love hermit crabs. But that was my very first one of the hermit crab that gets loose on the beach and he's trying to find a new home. Well, that's a good question. Um, well, first of all, I love to read, so I probably became a writer because I love reading so much, but also because my dad was a really good storyteller, and he always told all these good stories about when he grew up, so some of them I turned my dad's stories into books. How did your dad feel about that? He was really thrilled because um, when he saw that there are books about boys growing up during the Depression, okay. so it looks really different from how you guys would look today. And when he saw the books and he saw how it looked, he just said it was like going back in time. It's exactly like how it looked, and, and it helped him to remember when he was a kid. Okay, so 
for the first Judy Moody book, you're never going to believe it, but it took two years to write that book. And the first time I wrote it, it was like almost as long as like a Harry Potter book. It was so long, so we had to um, cut it like in half. And I took out a whole bunch of stories about Judy saving the world, and then I saved those, and I wrote another book that became Judy Moody Saves the World. So the first one is really hard because you're just getting to know all the characters, and it took a long time for Peter Reynolds, he's the illustrator, to draw all the pictures. So all together it took two years. Now I usually write a Judy Moody book like, um, if I had a whole summer, anywhere from like three months up to six months it takes to write a book. So that's why usually I write one Sting book and one Judy book each year. Okay. Are there any more questions? Two more questions. Do we have time again? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, my next Judy Moody book will be called Judy Moody and the Bad Luck Charm. And in that one, have you, do you guys know what the, those prize claw machines are? Like, yeah. um, it has like a big arm and you move it around and you try to grab the stuffed animal or like, yeah. okay, so Judy goes to a restaurant, they have a prize claw machine and like those are really hard to win, you never win them. And she puts her quarter in and she wins three times in a row. And so she thinks she's on a good luck streak, and then it kind of changes. Her lucky penny falls in the toilet, and it changes to bad luck. Oh. <laughs> Does that sound good? Yeah. <laughs> They're all busy checking their mood. They're wearing their mood rings. Oh yeah, yeah, let's let's see what mood you're in. Here's mine. Oh. <laughs> I'm in right normal. before right before you called it was on purple, joyful on top of the world. I'm not romance. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't help that we're having some issues with our um, heating and cooling right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I think they're all pretty much saying the same thing. Okay, what's your question? Well, they're from my imagination, but a lot of my story ideas are actually from things that happen to me in real life. So if you if you if you get stuck and you don't have an idea, just take something that really happened to you. Like my very first book about the hermit crab. I got inspired because my pet hermit crab got loose and he hit in my shoe. And I couldn't find him for like two days. So um, even just funny little things like that that happened to me, I turned them into books. We told you uh, a few things that you liked, they liked about the Midnight Zombie Walk. Do you want to ask them anything about that? Yeah, can you guys tell me what were some of the things you liked? and then the next morning he was back on the bed in Stink's room. <laughs> that was so crazy. Here's the little zombie. 
I'll show you my little zombie here. Um, Tell her they, they just started snowing. Um, Charity, Madison, I think that I think these are these 